Okay, five minute game. Casual, anonymous, let's just block this pawn. And develop the knight. Let's open up the dark square bishop. Simple chess, try not to complicate it. Let's just develop the bishop. Castle, to the gun for the slow for you and Cheto. And shall we or shall we? I'm actually going to hit this pawn here. Are they too late to the party? Not sure. We'll see. Um, we could hit the knight, take this pawn for free, but it's not going to stay there for too long, is it? Let's take it. So that'll be taken off the board. I'm not going to babysit it or anything. Let's focus. So this is either, or this is coming. If Probably better if that does give him a can take. I suppose we can take do on pass on as well if he does the double. Yeah, so he's coming for it. There's no point doing that because the knight just takes. And um, we could bring the knight across here looking to stop that, but really don't really want to spend time babysitting it. Could hit the knight, see where he wants to go. He comes around and attacks it twice. And this knight is actually on the pawn as well. Or do we just x-ray through, let them take the pawn, or do we bring the bishop here and defend the pawn? Tricky situation. Let's bring it here. I said I wasn't going to babysit it, but I saw a bit of hope. Maybe get this here, then we can attack the bishop. We're going to be too slow, aren't we? Yeah, he's attacking, attacking. Can't bring anything else in. So we can just go with the queen coming here. Yep. Yeah. I think we'll just go with the queen coming here. Excuse me, if the bishop takes, takes. Let's just take, keep it nice and simple. Knight could come across to attack the queen. But it easily defends itself. But then we can take the queen here. So, hmm. That might be a move. It's just we're going to be attacking the queen. Time is running out, dude. Now, let's get some speed on. Could go for an exchange, but that might not happen. Let's attack the queen. Small piece attacking a high piece. Can't be wrong, can it? It's gone to the other side of the board. Looking for here. Um, we do have attacking the knight, also attacking the queen, discovery. It's not a free knight, obviously, but... It's giving them something to think about for a brief moment. Is he looking for a combination of the knight? Because this knight can still take this pawn and be on our queen. He's not doing that. So we have the x-ray through, but he does have this. So we could hit the knight with the smaller piece and still got the x-ray through to the queen all these pawns are blocking his bishop at the minute so he might do a small move like this attacking the knight we can take the knight off the board he's trying to free up space maybe to get the bishop defending or does the pawn come down so if the pawn comes down then he gets a replication support yeah so I think that's probably better isn't it it's going to come with this pawn We're on 2.59, got to speed up. Uh, they're just coming in now, driving in, so we could. He's supporting with the knight. Come on, think, think, think. Take with the pawn, he replicates. Take with the pawn, he replicates. Still got the x-ray through, but he's now got this here. So if we push the pawn onto there, we can't move the king. If we move the queen here, then we're circumventing that attack out. So I'm going to move the queen here. So if the queen does come, then we can take it. It's got like a fork here with his pawn, so I think they're going to utilize that. Do we just take? Then his pawn takes, we take. His pawn takes. 
probably gonna be down pieces but we're up a minor piece anyway so we may have to suffer the consequences of that so they have gone for it is there anything better that we can think of any other attacks could just take with the queen I'm just gonna take with the queen don't want to be too fancy so he gets his minor piece back 218 we're tight on time is he going for the exchange if he isn't it gives us time to move our knight out of the way he's going for it so we'll take and then bring the rook here but the pawn comes to defend well there's no pawn to defend hmm, that's a bit miraculous right the time is running down but our knight is a little bit jammed in but if he does attack us we can take the pawn or we can move the knight does he come for this but we take yeah okay that looks fairly okay rooks down attacking the bishop it's defending the pawn I'm gonna attack the rook knight can all, could have also attacked but we were under pressure because we were under attack here so he has moved and he's trying to defend this pawn if we bring the knight here then we can bring it back down and attack the rook maybe yeah let's do that and come back around Going to be open wants to open his bishop up so that gives us the excuse to come here yeah oh, excuse me let's attack the rook still got a minute left we have a big gap yeah i'm just gonna say we have a big gap here but i don't really see what benefits there is there at this moment anyway so if we bring the rook here trying to face off the king so the bishop's going to move off of the line or come down and attack or something. Yeah, he's come down to attack, so we can take. I don't see a problem with that. And then bring the rook on the back because this rook is by itself. Attacking the pawn. Look to double up. All right, so we could take the pawn with the rook or we could double up, which is going to be best. I think for time wise, I think just going for doubling. And exchanging if the rook comes. Although he, if his rook comes there, he can't take it back. So that's not going to happen. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, he has done as well. So he can't take it back because we've got the rook supporting. I didn't think they would do that, but they have done. Okay, so they're on a few seconds now. Are they going to let the time run out? Looks like they... Yeah, okay. So, um, Pawn could attack the Rook. It's got no reason to be there. Let's just smaller piece attack a higher piece. I don't think we need to get fancy now. Just stick with the basics. And we went on time. Excellent. Okay, this is the rematch. Finally came back on. And I'm going to just do what I do normally and just push this pawn here. Let's develop the bishop. Castle. Smaller piece attacking a higher piece. What is it wanting to do? Let's get this knight out. So as we know, we're in the mid game now, but we need to be trying to plan to get towards the end game. I'm actually going to attack the knight. And take the knight off the board. I'm going to hit the bishop. I'm going to hit this pawn, see if we can make some space for the rooks on a file.
the knight's in. Okay, let's take this knight. Don't overcomplicate it. And shall we hit this bishop? Some smaller piece attacking a higher piece. It's going to be chomping at the bit to hit our bishop here. So I'm going to take this pawn off the board. And he's not caring about that. So he's proposed the take back. Well, it's a, it's a rematch. So I'm not doing a take back because... I don't need to. I don't think I've won anything here, have I? I'm just going to lose time now thinking about what I've got or what I haven't got. I'm going to block down this thing here. It looks like they've left the game. Oh, man. I don't know why they've left. Did this queen land on something that I missed? I don't see it. We'll claim victory on that. All right. Okay, let's just, uh, let's capture this pawn. Shall we bring the bishop, bishop? Let's bring the bishop out. This looks like it might be a bit tame, this one. Let's push this pawn, open the dark square bishop. Shall we just nice and steady away? She's got one, two, yep, that's fine. Let's castle. X-ray through to the queen. Get the knight not out. Let's get the knight this way. Out to come back in. Don't think there's any potential here at this moment. Bishop's got X-ray through to the queen. King, sorry. Oh, so the king's gone. So let's, shall we? Attack the knight. Let's take the knight off the board. Attack the bishop. Four. I was just going to say, it looks a bit skittish about actually capturing. I'm going to take because we'll lose out. And this pawn, this pawn, this pawn. Let's just develop. We'll move the knight. And the basics, let's just um, attack the bishop. Let's take the bishop. Let's hit the knight. Let's take this rook off the board for free. And they've left the game. Excellent. Okay, I mean, I like playing as black, but you know, you get to, you have to be able to play with whatever you've given at you. So I'm going to support the pawn this time. Ordinarily, I push here. I'm going to take this pawn off the board. Develop the bishop, attacking the weak pawn. Could go and attack the pawn here. Shall we just develop the knight? Let's develop the knight. Let's not get fancy. It's too cheap for us at this moment. We'll see how things go. It's got two pieces on there now, so I'm going to have to bring the queen in, I think. So it looks like they're struggling to find what to do, so let's just push and castle I think he's probably looking for some sort of thing here but that would be wrong wouldn't it they'd lose the bishop okay what do we want to do now then we need to just maybe block this off and give bishop a little bit of a standing post if we're going to go here that's where bishop's not activated so we could go here does he have like two on ones focused I think it's a knight thing, you know. Could push onto the paw, onto the knight. It pushes onto the bishop. Push onto the knight, because we've got the queen supported. So it doesn't necessarily need to be. So if we take with the queen, this knight's going to jump anywhere. But then we can take this pawn. I suppose it depends where his knight goes, doesn't it? Hmm, interesting. Yeah, so if we go here, 
says night jumps here. We've got the knight and the bishop protecting. Is it too much for our queen? Let's take it anyway because we're on this pawn. We've got loads of protection. So that was the only area I was worried about. I mean, if he comes here, that's fine. Ooh, he's getting rid of all the stuff and then his knight's going to jump in. Is he? Let's go here. This knight's not really attacking anything, so we could still go and take the pawn. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, it looks like they've left the game. Maybe they got the move order wrong or something. But it's, they've still got play in the game. We'll click claim victory on that. Why again? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna. <laughs> Come on, people. Let's beat a palm. Let's bring the bishop back. This castle. X-ray through to the queen. Okay, let's develop the knight. Let's push this pawn. Let's start heading towards the king if we can. Obviously that's hitting. the most obvious move ever. I'm going to take the knight off the board. Queen captures. Let's attack this pawn. Suffering the long pause. <laughs> that means they're coming in quick and fast with a ending. The end game is in their sights. We're still dancing with the mid game at the minute. There's no real focus on an end per se. Trying to improve the position on the board. But you can fall foul if one of you is just jostling for position and the other actually finds the ending. <clears throat> so I think my opponent is going for the ending. Does he ignore this manoeuvre now and do something with maybe the bishop? No, it's even the rook. Right, okay. So if we take, he just replicates with his pawn. It's probably what he's saying. We attack the bishop. We're inviting the bishop maybe into the game. So I'm going to take the pawn. Bishop takes. Could attack the bishop. Bishop takes the knight. Knight replicates. Going to attack the bishop. <clears throat> his, his whole whole end game he's looking at he's got all the pieces facing our king here but we should be able to crash through and we're saying we've 
we're giving our king company as best possible. So it might be harder for you to let's go and attack the bishop. It might be harder for you to break through if we can reduce the pieces down. Doesn't want the bishop taking. There's none of this, is there? So I think if we go for a simple attempt at exchanging, I don't think they're going to give it up, though, are they? Bishop still got that. If he gets his queen here, but the knight is still guarding. So I think it's probably just going to go up here, but we can take <coughs> queens in the center. really are going for it okay so yeah don't want to exchange saying no so where's he sending our knight to so if we went here he's got one two three four we've got one two three but one of them is a small pawn so they're going to give up a, mi a minor piece and a major piece for a pawn maybe they will this knight doesn't have any protection on it, so if this pawn did move, the queen would be able to take. So knight comes here, say the knight takes. Then our knight takes. No, we lose out, you know. We lose out, we need to stop that. Yeah, because his knight takes, knight takes, bishop takes, pawn takes, then the rook can take. Yeah, okay, let's stop that. That's a bad move order situation. So we could come here with the knight. Attack the queen. Yeah, okay, let's move. Still ahead on time, but we're wanting to keep our king with some company i think small delicate maneuvers are going to start kicking in from this opponent he might even look to go here to double up but we're, we're in a bit of tempo by going here attacking the queen it's just that the knight doesn't have any defense on so he can easily drop down but if he does drop down we can get the rook for free really in the tank on this I might have forgotten what to do by the time they've moved we said we're bringing the knights here but oh he's attacking the rook he's, look at these damn so we have to bring the rook up or do we just still attack the um, queen But if we attack the queen, he comes down, but then we can take the rook off the board. But then nothing can come to this square because of his damn bishop. Ah, oh, give me strength. Do a Morphe. You're attacking our rook, we're attacking a higher piece. But then he comes down and attacks that piece, which has no protection on. Or oh, does he? Does he try and protect this rook? But he doesn't need to. Comes down and attacks the knight. We take his rook with a check, his rook takes. And we swing back around, attacking the queen if the queen is there. Maybe he goes onto the dark square then. 
So we come here, attack him, then he goes onto the dark square so we don't then get the attack again on. Are we safe for just going here? But not really because nothing can come to this square now. Oh, this is annoying. I'm going to attack the queen and go with that simple thing of take, take and they're actually winning this square now which is I think quite crucial so we're hoping for this but I think they'll go here he doesn't even have to go there he could come across here even as well but yeah he's gone there so they saw that dead quick didn't they now this player has been playing really slow haven't they yeah on all of the moves and to actually know to actually put it to this square you know rather than attacking the knight here uh, and move dead quick I think we're into we're in a bit of trouble. Yeah, I think there's a bit of a situation brewing. Okay, let's go here. Just gonna bring look how quick they're moving now. Yeah, not even blinking an eye. Hmm. This will be the last one for today tend to find when I play too many games then the magical mystery fairies come out okay so the knights come across pawn could attack the queen could push this pawn just to get this up before he starts bringing his knight in attacking push this pawn up so try and get rid of this bishop I haven't looked at the full story for this knight though really it was a fleeting glance I thought it doesn't look like trouble but maybe it is trouble yeah but, oh well no the knight is still guarding this area I was thinking the rook was coming down with a check on the king, queen and the rook, the queen and the king, sorry. The magical mystery fairies. Has the magical wand disappeared? Because they move so quick to get to these positions here. When you, yeah, it is a night move of some sort. Did I miss something? What did I miss? Has he got a fork? If he takes, no. Comes here, no. If he gets here, yeah, but we're going to push the pawn onto the bishop. And the bishop supposedly planning to come here attacking this pawn. What is this knight doing? Come on. This. Okay, so if he jumps there and we take this, then the queen can take the knight here. So I think that's probably what they're looking to do, isn't it? Let's hit the bishop. I can't deal with um, magical mystery wand, wand waving players. So they're up. Could hit the queen, like we said. Oh, I'm just hitting the queen. I do not like wand playing players. If he takes, queen can take. I hate them with a passion. It's the same thing, isn't it? But even worse, because the queen can actually take. Oh, God, I didn't even see that. Let's attack the queen. Comes here because he still needs to defend the knight, but we can still take the knight off the board without a check. 
I'll be glad when this one's over. I'm not playing any more today after this one. This is the last one. Magical mystery ones. It's quite pleasing when you do beat the magical mystery one though because at least your your game is improving. So all I've been doing is defending through this game here. Well, back end of it especially. It's got zero increment on so hopefully they run out of time. Oh no 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 this ain't right. Could take his rook takes. Knight takes. We're gonna take. Take, we're on the rook. So we've got two my Oh, and they've resigned. Excellent. That's how you beat the magical one. I'm well chuffed with that one. Well chuffed indeed. Bye for now.